Oh, what's going on y'all? I'm Kaj. Welcome back to another video. Today, got another Apex tier list for the Cause the new split started. And I feel like doing these like once a split. Now, I'm not doing it like once. One with legends, one with weapons, so it's gonna put it all in one. I uh, got the weapons first. So if you do enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel, we're on the way to 500 subs and eventually a thousand. And uh, yeah, all my other socials are in the description if you do want to check them out. And without further ado, 301 is in S tier. Alternator is in S tier. I feel like these are these are assumed. Like I'm not even wasting no time. Matter of fact, also in S tier is Prowler. Oh yeah, I was like looking for the Kraber. And Triple Take and Spitfire. Care package web. Oh wait, and the flatline. Yeah, I feel like these are all pretty safe assumptions as Esther. Most of these are care pack weapons, but like 301 and Flatline are always gonna be strong. So those are like staple weapons. But going in order from here on out, the beak is like. I think it's a little bit overhyped right now. I don't really see it. I don't really see why people think it's like the best shotgun in the game. I feel like the best shotgun in the game is the EVA. But it's definitely a lot stronger than the P20, then that's where it used to be. It used to be just D tier, like unquestionably. Yeah, I think it's B tier right now, it's my opinion. The bow also B. It's like it can work. Like B tier is like you can make it work, but sometimes it might not do you justice. Same thing with the charge rifle because it because the way it is, you can't really use it close range, like at all. I mean, you can. You can definitely do decent damage to close range if you hit, like, the, the last burst of it. But you'll get gunned down by a beak or any other close range gun if you're trying to use it close range all the time. We got the Devotion. I think Devo is slept on. I think it's A tier. It does use a lot of energy ammo, which is the problem because you can't fi always find energy ammo. But the gun itself, I believe, is A tier. And Eva, is it? I'm thinking, like, S or A. It's definitely the best shotgun in the game right now. I think I'm gonna keep it in S. They did nerf how fast it fires, like with the purple bolt, but even with that, it still kills really fast. G7 is A tier. It is really, really good when you're trying to get high damage game because like you can use it mid to long range and it has a pretty decent hip fire as well. But mid range, mid and close range, you can still get beat out by a 3 1 flat line. Like it can be beat, but it's still very strong, which is why it's an A tier. Havoc. Also A tier. To me, it's better than the Devo, but I know there's a delay on it. But I feel like with that, sometimes you just either have to pre-fire it, or if you are switching to it, then you do have to deal with the delay. But with the Turbo, it's... I'm pretty sure it kills faster than the Devotion, and it definitely kills back faster than a Volt or an L-Star. And yeah, that's why I got an A tier. Next up, we got the Hemlock B tier. Actually... I'm gonna say A tier. They they buffed the hip fire. It is strong again. So Hemlock is very viable. It was always viable even at, before it got buffed. But like it was in B tier before because of the the hip fire. But now it is like it is a very strong gun again. And there used to be a Hemlock method at the time. And the L Star is also an S tier. This gun doesn't have the fastest TDK. Like it's not the best gun in the game, but it has a high or has a a fast time to kill. You don't have to reload and it takes extended mag now and barrel stabilizer so this thing can have no recoil and you can hold down the trigger for a long time it is is ridiculous right now a longbow the best non-care package uh sniper in the game right now close range is where you're like i mean it is a sniper so it makes sense but close range is where you kind of falter with it but i use it a lot in rank it's very useful in ranked more so than in pubs and yeah, you're hitting 60 a shot. Uh, I forget what headshot damage is, but it's definitely the best non-care pack sniper right now. The Mastiff, I don't like it personally, but I think it's B tier. I don't think it's terrible. It just, to me, there's like a lot of arguments right now on like the best shotgun. And like literally there's a case made for every shotgun, except for the PK. PK people really disregard, but to me, I don't think it's too far off. And oh, let's get to the B20 D tier. I mean, it's just the worst gun in the game, as it should be. But the PK, 
as much as it pains me to say it, it's it's worse than the Eva, undoubtedly. Or should I put an A tier? Because for some people, when you charge up, and I know people don't like to charge it up, or you, you don't always have time to, but if you have time to, it can still hit for 100. And out the, even without the charge, with the choke just off, you can still hit, like, mid-90s. You just have to place the pellets. Which, I mean, pellet guns are always like that, but... Yeah, people complain about hitting nines. It's like, if you don't hit all your pellets, then yeah, that's how it's going to be. That's just how it is. I think it's an A-tier gun personally, but you can let me know what you think the best shotgun is or just what you think about the list in general. 99 is probably A-tier. This can't really be used at range. I mean, it can be, but it, it's just going to get beat out. Like, the versatility is kind of problem with it but i mean it's still a really fun gun to use a lot of people still stand by it, including me and we got the re c tier it can get the job done like early in the game but you do want to switch off of it it's just gonna lose to any other close range gun besides the p20 and the repeater people are starting to like this gun all of a sudden i still take a g7 over it but i think it's b tier it's a solid solid mid-range gun for sure as long along with the sentinel I like the Sentinel the most, it's my favorite sniper, but I'll, I think the Longbow is definitely better than it. Even though it has the hop up to make it fire faster, I still think the Longbow is better than the Sentinel, but it still does good damage, especially when it's charged. And we got the Volt. Now you can make a case for the Volt in the S tier just because it's very low recoil, so you can use it at mid range as an SMG. Much better than you can in 99, especially with the slower fire rate. It's kind of like the. Uh, the flat line to the 301 with slower fire rate so you like you have more room for error yeah i think yeah i think i'm, I'm gonna keep it next to your wingman the thing about the wingman is this is wingman is so reliant on the like the player like you can spray and pray with an l star a eva a volt and you can get by but like with a wingman there is none of that so Assuming you're hitting shots in SS tier, but, but to the average player, I'd say it's an A tier gun. And then finally, the Rampage. Because Thermites are so easy to find, I'd say it's S tier. When you have it charged, it's very hard to beat this gun, especially because heavy guns, they slow you down while you're when you get hit by it, unless you're um, unless you're a fortified legend, so give me caustic. But yeah, I got it. I got an S tier. Like the weapon meta is fairly balanced right now. It's not even bad. The only problem with Apex right now, just to me in general, is just that there's no content. Like there's no content coming out. Like the events are getting more dry every time because they won't do LTMs for some reason. But that's besides the point. This is the weapons. Let me know what you think in the comments. And now, now we do the Legends Bangalore. I still say in B tier. I mean, she hasn't changed. So I feel like she's always going to be in B tier until changes are made. But now there's an undisputed S tier best recon legend in the game right now. I mean, I don't think there's much to be explained about that or Gibby, matter of fact, or Octane. Well, nah, Octane's still S tier. But yeah, going on from there, Caustic is A tier. His buff did a lot for him. Matter of fact, I'd even argue, I'd even argue he's S tier now. Like the gas, uh, the damage stacking that they added to him, it is strong. Like you will get murked by gas quick now, especially if he's shooting you at the same time and you're, you know, you're slow. He can see right through it. You're highlighted. It's all bad. Crypto, it's an A tier. He's very unpopular because you do have to be in your drone a lot, but I still think he's an A tier legend when done right. Use. Use is. Hmm. I think he's B tier. I don't think he's in the meta. I think he's fun to use for one. And two, he he is actually pretty effective, especially like in buildings and especially with his um with his fire now. Like when it just tracks people that are inside of it. He fires it. He can fire that in a building and it just like engulfs the entire thing in flames. People are running through it, getting damaged, tracked, all that. So I think he's very solid now. Horizon is back in the meta, I feel like. I think she's A tier. He's not going to be as overpowered as she was. It, she was ridiculous. She's definitely the strongest character to ever come in the game, in my opinion. But yeah, I think she's back in S tier after that buff she got for the season. Lifeline is B tier just because she is useful with the res, but everything else about her is very, 
like it's it's cool like you know health pot okay like you know it does help but and the care pack having upgrades i think it's it's good changes but bro, it was a good buff but i don't think she's gonna be anything above b tier but she has zero solo value right now loba i believe she's a tier because she has solo and team value how the braces being her movement and then the market once she gets it very quick you land a 50 percent off the rip and it charges fast and you can just do the entire area get as much ammo as you need in end game you can rob people of nades of ammo you can really pull all the ammo out of the game if you want to since it's infinite and yeah i think she has a she gets like bagged on a lot as um as like a from a tactical standpoint but i think she's good mirage c tier i just don't think he's that useful he's just fun to play but that's really it. i don't think he's that useful because like everything that he does decent someone does better than him he has invisible res lifeline can res two people at once he can um turns invisible when he like reses people at the beacon crypto crypto can do that with his drone and i mean his decoys yeah they can help in a fight but sometimes they confuse your teammates too so it, they don't always help to be honest i think he's just there's nothing he's like great at or like the best at you know pathfinder he's viable not in the meta per se because like with a zipline you can get shot off that pretty easy you'd rather have a wraith portal to move you move a team or a valkyrie but still like a very a very like a high skill pathfinder is terrifying let me tell you that but anyway rampart got her buff I think she's A tier because of how strong Sheila is when you carry it around. You can murk people so fast. There have been times when I've literally been charging it up as I'm, as I'm getting shot and I still get the kill because of how fast the time to kill is. It is ridiculous. Now she can run around with that now. And their barriers are good. Like you can lock you can lock doors with it or you can just kind of make a little corner for yourself in the building. You get the boosted damage. Like she's, she's very solid now. Revenant. Um... I think he's B tier. He's viable. You know, he's shutting down abilities, uh, shutting down other legends' abilities is always going to be useful, but he's not going to be like in the meta. He needs Octane to be like super effective with his totem, especially now that he's nerfed a little bit. It makes that uh, loud, kind of like Loba ult type pulse when you put down the totem. But uh, yeah, he's still decent. I mean, I don't really see a lot of red mains to be honest with you. But Seer, when he dropped S tier, but now. I think he's a tier it's a, it's a lot it's way easier to avoid his tactical now but his ult is still very useful i mean the tactical itself is still obviously very very useful it's just not as overpowered as, as it once was but yeah they balanced him out i think he's good in a tier right now that's where i got him then we got valkyrie also an a tier legend i want to actually even say s tier I'm gonna say A tier because like she is a recon legend and her only recon abilities are scanning beacons obviously and like she can scan people when she's skydiving. But besides that she's not really much of a recon legend you know. So if she had more recon like utility maybe she could be an S. I don't know if that's a good enough reason to keep her out of it. Because she has a lot of strengths from mobility is a jetpack. I mean it's great she's a walking jump tower. Matter of fact I, I have her in S tier. All right, Watson, I think she's C tier. I like playing Watson, but most people don't. And she's it's not like a uh, like a crypto situation where like it's a good character, but people just don't enjoy playing them. It's like Watson is not is the weakest defensive legend and she needs a buff severely. If you've seen that heirloom render, like if you've seen that heirloom render, you know she needs a better heirloom too. It's ridiculous. But yeah. Watson's gonna be in C tier right now. I mean, her defenses are the easiest to destroy out of all the defensive legends. And on top of that, she takes a very long time to recharge pylons, so C tier is the best I can do for her right now. Wraith, I think, is still an S tier legend. Like, a portal is always gonna be useful, so I think she, that's gonna keep her in S tier. And the phase, I, I mean, I think if they are gonna buff her phase, they should do like the Loba treatment where. You can move full speed when you're about to phase instead of having to move slowly because that's the buff they did for Loba and the bracelet. I think they should do the same thing to Wraith and I think people will be happy with that. 
All right, and that is the legend list. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel. Got more Apex content on the way. I think every other video, I'm also going to include other games because Apex, like I said, is getting a little stale with the content right now. I don't think, no, I haven't really heard like anyone like really enjoying Apex right now. So I just want to mix in some other stuff because I'm not personally enjoying it as much as I used to. I still enjoy the game, but we need some LTMs is really what we need. But yeah, rant over. I uh, will see you in the next video. Go leave a like. Peace.